And while you're sitting there wondering, what's going on with my hairline? Why is my hairline this way? Why, why is my skin peeling off? People have literally sent me pictures of their skin literally peeling back like a banana. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we'll be diving deep into why your hairline is raw. Why are you losing chunks off of your hairline? What could be really going on? Why is your hairline discolored? You know, what? what is it? Are you having an allergic reaction to the glue? Is it debris? Or, or is it your remove, how your uh, stylist is removing your wig? Okay, so we are going to dive deep in that, into that today and I will be letting you guys know some things that may shock you. Okay, this is industry secrets. This is what the beauty community um, don't, don't want you to know. All right, so you'll be surprised just what people are actually using on your hair and your hairline. If you would like to know these secrets, child, just keep watching. All right, y'all, so jumping right in, the first thing that you may not know that's being put on your hairline is this. All right, so this right here is a common household product and it is called Goo Gone. All right, I don't know if you guys have kids or you're arts and craftsy you or you've worked in a store you've probably seen this before i'm very very familiar with this i've worked in department stores before and also i think that everybody should have a bottle of it because i think it's freaking amazing okay so i know you're kind of like goo gone what yes goo gone people use this to remove their units whether you've uh bought a hair uh, a hair remover a wig remover from a store a lot of people use this and repackage it or you you're going to a hairstylist okay a lot of hairstylists actually swear by this now i am going to put a couple articles up here that kind of talk about using this on your skin however there are two different kinds of goo gone okay this right here is the the is the original goo gone the one that you're looking at right here this is not safe for the skin would not recommend it but there are a lot of people who rebottle this up and they sell it to you all for these crazy prices and sometimes it's, it's cheap okay because they know everyone is on the hunt for a remover and the strongest remover and the best remover okay now this is not safe for the skin but however they do have a different remover which would be this okay so this is an adhesive remover that you can use on the skin if you have a little residue from band-aids or you get into something really really sticky you can result to this now i'm bringing this to light because while people are thinking that it could be so many other factors that goes factors that goes into your hairline and it could but we have to think about the things that are being used on the hair and the hairline that are not supposed to be used for that. Yeah, it's great for getting sticky things off or residue off, but at the end of the day, it's not made for that, all right? So keep that in mind, and that could definitely cause your hairline to be raw, to be super red, for you to lose your edges. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's deeper than the glue is what I'm trying to get you guys to get, all right? so we are moving right along to the next product that may be being used on your hairline all right y'all so the next thing is going to be this i know y'all probably like nah mm -mm. yes ma'am acetone we talking about the acetone that you soak your nails in the very very strong stuff that a dang near put you out the nail shop okay because it'd be so doggone strong get your headache people are using acetone on your hairline okay acetone is it dries out your skin um, it does make it very very flaky super brittle and super dry okay now I would say that this product is probably like the number one killer of your skin and your edges when you use it constantly when you constantly constantly use it and there are a lot a lot of celebrity stylists and a lot of styles in general who resort to it because it's easy it's quick it's fast they can just Put it on there and the, the glue is gone. The glue gone and the residue is gone. Now, I have had acetone on my face before. Some people swear by acetone. Some people use it to reduce acne and, um, and bacteria on the face. However, this should not be used repeatedly and in high moderation. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Now, whenever you're getting a chemical peel or you're going to an actual esthetician or a trained professional, they use this with what they do. Okay? 
do it let trans professionals do it but when you guys are going to these different people you don't know what they're using so if someone's like sitting back watching watching a video and they're like oh nah that ain't never been you don't know and while you're sitting there wondering what's going on with my hairline why is my hairline this way why why is my skin peeling off people have literally sent me pictures of their skin literally peeling back like a banana okay and i'm like sis that's not normal you need to go to the dermatologist e er somebody okay so yes acetone is widely used in your on your hairline and removing a wig okay this is just this is just the truth i will be putting some articles up here as well about acetone so you guys can kind of read it and just see um you know what the articles say so we are going to be jumping right into the next product that may be used on your hairline all right y'all so the next product that may be used on your hairline that you i'm sure you don't know about <laughs> is going to be regular fingernail polish remover okay this is like the regular uh 99 cent to two dollar type of fingernail polish sometimes it's pink sometimes it's blue sometimes it's orange different colors you can get it from dollar tree you can get it from dollar general you can get it from anywhere people are bottling this up and they're using it as remover okay so just keep all of this in mind when you're looking for the strongest remover and you're looking for the best okay the best also could come at a cost if you smell some of this stuff if you look at the consistency of some of this stuff it will further prove my point as to what's really being used on your hairline so when you're going to the dermatologist when you're going to the ER when you're wondering what is going on with my head what's going on with my hairline I don't get it I don't get it it could be the remover just as well as anything else as well but i'm just saying if you're going to somebody and they're constantly and so you're getting your wig done wigs don't last a long time frontal wigs closure wigs don't last a long time especially if you're gluing them down and you're doing a ball cap mid child so if you're going two or three times out of a week or you're getting your wig touched up every week or every two weeks or two or three times out of a month just picture them constantly using acetone on their hairline you're constantly making it raw and red and you're drawing it out okay just picture that or uh, picture them using Goo Gone, not the one for the adhesive for the skin, but just regular Goo Gone. Just picture that continuously being used on your head. You can see why my hairline is discolored. Why my hairline is peeling off like a banana? Why the skin coming off like that? Why is it bleeding? Why is it cracked? Why is it swollen? Why is it so hard for me to touch my hairline? What is going on? It's not always the wigs, guys. You have to look at what's going on. Besides the ball cap method, take some other things in co into consideration. A lot of people are not going to let you know what they're using. They're not going to let you know what they're buying. They're not going to be completely honest on what, what products are in what ingredients are actually in that product you know everybody's just rushing out to buy it because they're trying to get their wigs off and they want these it girl styles but like i said a lot of this stuff comes at a price all right and yeah the, the community the community definitely finna hate me for this one but i'm just saying you know keep an open mind and just know that i'm here for you guys and to just bring you guys the scoop and also i just want to know you all's opinions i want to know you all's, all's opinions let me know how you feel down below. Let me know. Maybe this thing dinged in your head and you went to go grab uh, one of your adhesives or something and you compare them. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. Also, let me know what you guys would like to see next. I do have a lot of content coming for you guys. A lot of informative content. A lot of styling tutorials. Also, I won't know if you guys are enjoying this, these videos unless you give me a thumbs up and keep me in the algorithm, okay? So, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you watch this video all the way through and leave me a comment down below so that I can come back with more videos. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye y'all.